in the last example video, we found uh, that the eigenspace for this matrix corresponding to the eigenvalue negative 2 is the span of, um, well, this one vector, 1, 1, 3. We actually found first that all um, eigenvectors for this matrix corresponding to the eigenvalue negative 2, um, we first found that they had this form, so 1 third, oops, 1 third x3, uh, 1 third x3, and then x3. This was the original form that we found for the eigenvectors. Um, so that would be the span, um, all vectors of this form would be the span of the vector um, 1 third, 1 third, 1. Uh, it's just nice to have uh, your basis uh, have integer entries. So that's why I multiplied everything uh, by 3 to get to get this vector here. Or uh, I did the substitution uh, x3 equals 3 times t. But that's just a formal way of doing this. In fact, I mean, if, you're, if you have the span of just a single vector, you could use any multiple of this vector right here as your basis. Um, so 1, 1, 3 just happens to be the nicest one to use here. Uh, now, in this video, though, I wanted to talk about how you can verify your result when you solve a problem like this. So remember, we're saying that all of the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue negative 2 have this form. So there's some multiple... Um, Of this vector 1 1 3 so if I make my multiple t then we're saying that all of the eigenvectors have this form uh, now remember x is an eigenvector if when we multiply the matrix a times x we get a scalar multiple of x and not just any scalar multiple we're saying that this corresponds to the eigenvalue negative 2 so we get negative 2 times that original vector that's what it means for x to be uh, an eigenvector for a corresponding to lambda equals negative 2. So we want to verify this equation here. So I could set this up uh, 1, 0, negative 1, Oops. Uh, 1, negative 3, 0, and 4, negative 13, 1, okay, times some vector in the span of 1, 1, 3. So I'm just going to put t t, 3t, where t just stands for my multiple. This is any multiple of the vector 1, 1, 3. So if we multiply this out, oops, in the first entry, I have 1 times t. So I have t plus 0 minus 3t. So t minus 3t, I have negative 2t here. Okay, second row. I have 1 times t, so t minus 3t plus 0. So t minus 3t, I have negative 2t again. And then last row, 4 times t, so I have t negative 13 times t. So I have 4t minus 13t would be negative 9t plus 3t, so that's negative 6t. And so we've got a common multiple of negative 2. We could write out front if we want, and that would be negative 2 times the vector t, t. And then when I take this and divide out negative 2, I'm left with 3t, which this is our original vector x, some multiple of the vector 1, 1, 3. And it turns out that, yes, when we multiply the matrix A times any vector of that form, we get negative 2 times the original vector. So we're sure that our answer uh, to example four is correct.